Declaration House. This is where the Declaration of Independence was signed. It's a National Park Museum. This is just the back side of it. Very popular with the tourists. Today it's closed due to other issues within the building. A closer look at Declaration House itself, just to see what the garden looks like, what the building looks like in the back. You can see there's an older building and a modern building that was developed by the Park Service. As I said, this is part of the National Park System, so it's open and free to the public, part of the uh, tourism of Philadelphia. And you can see this beautiful building here that they have, modern, right next to the old. You can see the old building right there, just beautiful. Side view of Declaration House. You can see great historical building right next to a great modern building too. Take a closer look here at the historical side of Declaration House. Now these are typical homes in Philadelphia. About 200 years ago, this was the size of the home. People really preferred living in a more narrow home and people were living much closer together. Today, due to heating costs being so inexpensive, uh, people love big homes, but 200 years ago, it was much more popular to, uh, to have uh, a smaller home, and everyone was much more close together. And we'll take a, just another closer look here for people who might like architecture. There we go. And as I said, this building is right next to a modern building that was created by the Parks Department to accommodate the tourists that will be coming to visit where the Declaration of Independence was signed. And again, this is Declaration House. And just to take a better view of what it looks like, that's it right there. And a beautiful garden in the back. View of Declaration House from 7th and Market Street in Philadelphia. What a beautiful house this is. I'm sure if this were on the market as just a standalone home, it would be worth at least three million dollars because first it's on Market Street and many developers would just like to buy it up. Just that single stone house alone would be three or four million dollars in Philadelphia because some developer would just come along and really want to acquire it to put up a building and the entire lot where they have the concrete building too would probably be about ten million dollars because it just makes so much sense for a developer to acquire that but as I said these lots are not available since it's part of the National Park because this is where the Declaration of Independence was signed so there are many people that come to visit this location because of the historical significance and thus because it's part of the National Park Service it would never be up for sale and it would just be too expensive for an individual to to maintain that because the uh, 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 the the cost would be a lot to maintain and the taxes on this house would be a lot and as I said it wouldn't make sense because what would happen is some developer would come along and say what price do you want and the homeowner would say look I could use an extra five million dollars six million dollars The developer wants to put up a 10 story 20 story 30 story building and money speaks and we'll take a closer look at the front so that this way everyone can get a good glimpse of what this house looks like. What is involved with this house? Now, you have to remember to maintain it in this condition is probably very expensive also. Windows are probably handmade, uh, probably made from a certain person that makes the windows. They probably want everything to be architecturally perfect. The roof would be very expensive to maintain. 
The mechanicals of this building would be expensive to maintain since so many people are visiting this house right now. And then it has a great amenity. It's a beautiful garden in the back. Now, you, in any big city, you do not have gardens in the back because that space wouldn't be used for a garden. A garage, they put another building on it. But here, the plus side of this is that you have that beautiful garden. take a good glimpse of this as the tourists are in Philadelphia and here we'll take a glimpse around the house too this is looking west on Market Street Market Street is one of the main streets in Philadelphia that goes from east to west and west to east and then there's another street called Broad Street that uh, that kind of goes uh, from north to south and south uh, to north and we're just taking a look around just to see what the neighborhood around Declaration House looks like so that when people are visiting Philadelphia they have an idea what is here to see and what the neighborhood looks like and as I said in some other videos the uh, most interesting thing is a lot of people always show you just what they want to show you they don't want to show you other things in the neighborhood so they make an image of a building that doesn't put it into context. So here are all the other buildings around here. Now we're looking north 